Hello friends, so welcome back to the 14 development. We were discussing about how we can translate our module into different languages in the last video. Now in this video, we are going to check whether how, uh, how we can uh, create a report, a printed report, a node, okay, just like an invoice or something. Okay. So, a report engine of Odoo is uh, a combination um, of QWeb, Bootstrap, and WK HTML to PDF. So, Odoo uses these three things for its report engine, and each report contains two elements one is an ir dot action report object and uh, in in that object we we specify all the various uh, parameters of that report like uh, id name uh, the model report type and uh, report file if we want to uh, save the report after generating the report into database and the, the, na uh, the name of the attachment those kind of uh, different parameters we can give in ir dot action report uh, object then the next thing is a normal qweb view so this uh, what we are going to do is we are going to add a report on our open academy module so we need two elements one is ir dot action report that's what you can see here currently selected and then a template so i have already added this code into our module so this is our um, report code the two elements you can see the name of the file reports.xml uh, you can create a specific directory if you want i just added that under directly under the open academy module if you are putting your uh, reports or if you have more than one reports you can definitely put that into a separate directory then uh, you will have to just mention that uh, currently in the manifest file that's all what you have to do so in our case we added this IR dot action report record uh, the ID is given as report session and the name then the model report type is QR PDF and report name open academy it's a module name open academy dot report session view then the report file open academy dot report session and then binding model ID model open academy session just like uh, so this binding model ID comes when we uh, plan to add the report uh, without uh, a wizard or something like a contextual item in the print view uh, that we can print a button that we can so uh, that we can see uh, top of the form view so either uh, we are binding this model into this more uh, specified model model open academy session so uh, that means our report will be the at the top of the open academy session objects okay then uh, binding type is report then this is a simplest uh, report we can have so we have give a, a the template in id then we just call the html container inside that we put a for loop for dogs and each dogs uh, each doc will I try through this. So this docs uh, is the records for which we uh, want to uh, print the report. Okay, if you have multiple invoices to print, then uh, this docs will contain that uh, invoices. So in our case, if we want to print the uh, report for multiple sessions, then this docs will contain those those uh, sessions. So for each session, this uh, set of um, code will work and then it will call the 
external layout then uh, inside the page we will just have uh, the doc name with nh2 style then we will just put the from a date and due date of that uh, session and uh, we will have a attendees heading then say uh, after that we will iterate to the attendee ids of that session and then just print their name so that's all we have uh, in our report uh, report definition in our q web then now what we have to do is we have to mention this reports.xml in our manifest file so here you can see the reports.xml is given now we have to just to reserve the service and then go back to our odoo open academy yep update so let's go to the open academy open academy sessions if i check this one you can see the print is here if i go to the courses and create one course test save we don't have the print view here you can see uh, there is no print option even um, from the course view also we don't have the print option since we added the report for this uh, sessions as a contextual menu item uh, you can see this print button here you can go inside and also you will have the print button here also in the form view also so you can just click on this print button then uh, the name of the session uh, will list here as a drop down you can you can uh, you can create a different type of reports uh, on a single object there is no problem so at that time if you have multiple uh, reports on the same item then uh, there will be two options multiple options will be there if you have more than two so just click on that session report it will trigger the generation of the report session report one you can see so this is the external layout, uh, the company logo, that address and blah, blah, blah. Then the session one is the name of the session. Then it's uh, from date and to date. Then the attendee is heading that we uh, defined that we have given on the template. Then these are the name of the attendees. So it will work for this. If I select one, two, then print see two pages yeah. okay so this is how this report generation is working this is uh, how we define a report in Odoo and there is one thing that we should know uh, these reports are uh, just pure uh, web pages standard web pages okay so you can access them by using a URL okay so this is not a url it's just a name of uh, generated pdf so here we can access this report using url okay local host instead of web we have to give the report then yeah it's auto generator here since i have tried some time ago so Either you can give the PDF or HTML. If you have put the PDF, then uh, the PDF version will come. If you put the HTML, the HTML version will come. Then the module name, Open Academy, then the report, report name. Okay, report session view. So this is, you can see, this is the name of our report session view. So, Open Academy report session view. So then, ID of the of, uh, the record that you want uh, that the report should be generated. So if I put one, it will create the PDF of session one. If I change this PDF to HTML, you will get the HTML version. 
this is the HTML version if I change this ID to 4 it will show another another sessions report if I change to video so using this session uh, using this uh, URL uh, you can access the sessions um, reports so if you are looking for an invoice or something you can change it to accounts dot uh, report invoice or something like that so uh, i hope you understood how we can create the report and how we can uh, bind that into a model and how we can generate them and how we can access the report using an url thanks for watching if you have any doubts you put on the comment session we will try our best to answer your queries thanks for watching once again see you on the next video bye